This is a revision of The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Wattles. The original was written in 1910 and I found the English hard to read and understand as it wasn't quite written as we would speak today. I rewrote the sections of the book for easier understanding. All of the main ideas are still included. I still would read and study the original manuscript. However, you can often read or listen to this revision to get the book's core in your subconscious until the suggestions become second nature. To read along with the video, click the link in the description to go to the original blog post. Enjoy! Preface This book is not about big ideas, it's a how-to guide. It is for people who need money and want to get rich before thinking about big ideas. It is for those who are too busy to study deep ideas but want results. They are ready to trust and act on what science says without knowing all the details. The reader is expected to believe the basic ideas as they would trust information about electricity from famous inventors like Marconi or Edison. By trusting and following the steps in this book, they will get rich because this method is exact and can't fail. However, Famous thinkers are mentioned for those who want to understand the ideas behind this. The idea that everything in the universe is connected and that one substance makes up everything is from Hindu philosophy and has influenced Western thinkers for 200 years. It is the base of many Eastern and Western philosophies, including those by Descartes, Spinoza, Leibniz, Schopenhauer, Hegel, and Emerson. Anyone who wants to dig deeper into these ideas should read Hegel and Emerson. They should also check out The Eternal News, a great pamphlet by J. J. Brown from Glasgow, Scotland. Some helpful articles are in the 1909 Nautilus magazine titled What is Truth? I wrote this book so everyone can understand. The plan in this book comes from tested ideas and has been proven to work. If you want to know where these ideas come from, read the suggested authors. To use their ideas to get rich, read this book and follow its instructions exactly. Chapter 1, The Right to Be Rich No matter what people say about being poor, you can't have a complete and successful life unless you're rich. To be the best you can be you need a lot of money. To grow your mind and talents, you need many things, including cash to buy those things. People grow in mind, soul, and body by using things. Plus, in our society, you need money to get those things. So, the most important thing for personal growth is learning how to get rich. Everything alive has the right to grow as much as it can. Having the right to life means having the right to use everything you need to grow your mind, soul, and body. This means you have the right to be rich. In this book, being rich doesn't just mean being happy with a little. No one should be satisfied with a little if they can enjoy more. Nature wants everything to grow and be the best it can be. Every person should have everything that makes life powerful, beautiful, and rich. Settling for less is wrong. A rich person has everything they need to live their best life. Nowadays, even an ordinary person needs money to live well. Everyone wants to be the best they can be and to do that, you need money to buy the things that help you grow. Understanding how to get rich is the most important knowledge. Wanting to be rich is good. It means desiring a fuller and better life, and that's good. It's not normal for people not to want to live well or have enough money to buy what they need. We live for our bodies, our minds, and our souls. All three are important, and none is better than the others. You can't live fully in one area if you ignore the others. Living only for the soul and ignoring the mind and body is not good. The same goes for living only for the mind or body. We know what happens when people live only for their bodies and ignore their minds and souls. Real life means fully expressing yourself in all three areas. No one can be happy if their body, mind, or soul is not fully living. Unfulfilled potential leads to unsatisfied desire. To live fully, your body needs good food, comfortable clothes, and a warm home. Plus, rest and fun. Your mind needs books, time to learn, opportunities to travel and observe, and friends to talk with. Intellectual activities and beautiful things around you are a necessity. Your soul needs love, and poverty stops love from being expressed. 
The happiest moments come from giving to those you love. How can you fulfill your role as a family member, citizen, or person if you have nothing to offer others? Using material things helps you live fully in body, mind, and soul. So, it's crucial to be rich. It's okay to want to be rich. It's natural for normal people. Focus on learning to get rich because it's the most important study. Ignoring this is failing yourself, God, and humanity. Making the most of yourself is the best you can give to God and humanity. Chapter 2, There is a Science of Getting Rich. Getting rich is a science, just like math. There are rules to follow, and if you learn and follow these rules, you will get rich for sure. Having money comes from doing things a certain way. People who do things this way, purposely or accidentally, get rich. People who don't, stay poor no matter how hard they work. It's a natural law that doing the same thing will always give the same result. So, anyone who learns and does things in this certain way will get rich. We know this is true because of these facts. Getting rich doesn't depend on where you live. If it did, ever. If two people in the same place and doing the same job have different results, with one getting rich and the other staying poor, it shows that getting rich is about doing things a certain way. Also, getting rich doesn't come from talent alone. Many talented people stay poor, while others with little talent get rich. Looking at rich people, we see they aren't much different from others. They don't have special talents, they do things a certain way. Saving money doesn't guarantee getting rich either. Many thrifty people are poor, while big spenders often get rich. So, getting rich isn't about talent, saving money, or doing things others don't. It's about doing things a certain way. If anyone can do things this way, anyone can get rich. This makes getting rich an exact science. You might wonder if this certain way is hard to follow. But we see that both smart and not so smart people, strong and weak people, all can get rich. Anyone who can read and understand these words can get rich. It's also not about where you live. While location matters a bit, like not opening an ice cream shop in a freezing place, it's mostly about doing things correctly. If someone in your town can get rich, so can you. It's not about picking a special job or business. People get rich in many jobs, while their neighbors in the same jobs might stay poor. You will do best in a job you like and are good at. And a business that fits your location will do better, like an ice cream shop in a warm place. But mostly, getting rich isn't about the job. It's about learning to do things in a certain way. If you're in business and not getting rich, then you're not doing things the same way as those who are getting wealthy. Lack of money doesn't stop you from getting rich. If you start doing things in a certain way, you'll get rich and gain money. You can be very poor, in debt, and without friends or resources. But if you start doing things this way, you will get rich because the same actions always bring the same results. If you have no money, you can get it. If you're in the wrong business or place, you can move to the right one by starting to do things in a certain way where you are now. Chapter 3, Is Opportunity Monopolized? No one stays poor because they don't have a chance to get rich. Even if some people have a lot of money, it doesn't mean you can't also get rich. You might not take over a big railroad company, but new opportunities emerge, like electric railways or flying transportation. Why not focus on new things instead of competing with big companies? If you work for a big company like a steel trust, you might not get to own the place. But if you start doing things a certain way, you can leave. You could buy a small farm and grow food. There are a lot of opportunities for people who work on small farms. You might think you can't get land, but if you work a certain way, you can. Opportunities change with time. Right now in America, farming and related jobs have a lot of opportunities. Farmers, and people who help farmers, have more chances to get rich than factory workers. There are many chances for anyone who goes with the flow instead of fighting against it. Factory workers aren't poor because their bosses keep them down. They can start businesses or vote for laws that help them. 
they can become successful if they start doing things in a certain way. There's enough wealth for everyone. There's enough material in the world to build a palace for every family and to feed and clothe everyone well. The supply is huge and won't run out. Everything on earth is made from one original substance, which can take many forms. There's no limit to this substance. The universe is full of it. We can always make more of what we need. No one is poor because nature is poor. Nature is full of riches, and there's always more being created. If the soil wears out, it can be renewed. If gold runs out, more can be made if needed. The original substance responds to what people need. As a whole, humanity is rich. If individuals are poor, they don't follow a certain way that leads to wealth. The original substance is intelligent and alive. It always tries to create more life. The living substance made the universe, which always wants to grow and express itself more fully. Nature is designed to support life. Everything needed for life is provided in abundance. There can be no shortage unless the Creator contradicts Himself. You're not poor because there's not enough wealth. Even the resources of the original substance are available to those who act and think in a certain way. Chapter 4, The First Principle in Getting Rich Thinking is the only thing that can make real riches from the formless substance. The stuff that everything is made from is something that thinks, and a thought in this stuff makes a form. The original substance moves according to its thoughts. Everything in nature is a visible thought in this substance. When the formless stuff thinks of a shape, it takes that shape. When it thinks of a motion, it makes that motion. This is how everything was created. We live in a world made of thoughts. The thought of a moving universe spread through the formless substance, making systems of planets that keep their shape. The thinking substance shapes itself according to its thoughts, creating oak trees that grow over time. When someone thinks of a form, he creates it, following natural growth patterns. For example, thinking of a house won't make it appear instantly, but it will start the process of building it through trade and commerce. If not, the house would come directly from the primal substance. No thought of form can be in the original substance without making that form. People can think and make original thoughts. Everything made by humans starts as a thought. We usually use our hands to shape things from nature instead of creating new forms with our thoughts. When we have a thought form, we use natural materials to create it. We don't use formless intelligence to construct new things just by thinking. We need to understand three key ideas. There is one original formless substance that makes everything. Different forms in nature are just different shapes of the same stuff. This stuff can think, and a thought in it creates the form of that thought. A thought in this substance makes the thing it imagines. People can think of things by impressing their thoughts on the formless substance. They create what they imagine. We can prove these ideas by reasoning and by experience. If someone follows the process in this book and gets rich, it supports the claim. If everyone who follows it gets rich, it proves the process works until someone tries it and fails. Men get rich by doing things in a certain way. To do this, they must think in a certain way. How we do things is a direct result of how we imagine things. Learn to think what you want. This is the first step toward getting rich. Thinking what you want instead of what you see is hard work but necessary. Most people bypass sustained and focused thought. Thinking the truth, even when appearances suggest otherwise, requires effort. For example, thinking of health when surrounded by sickness or focusing on wealth when surrounded by poverty takes power. But mastering this makes you a powerful thinker. Understanding that one thinking substance creates everything, and every thought in this substance becomes a form, helps us know we can create what we want. To get rich, you must believe these three fundamental ideas. Keep these statements in your mind, and they will become your thoughts. Repeat them until you believe them. There is a thinking stuff from which all things are made, and it fills the universe. A thought in this substance produces the thing it imagines. By thinking, people can create what they think about. 
Believe these truths without question because the science of getting rich starts with completely accepting this belief. Chapter 5, Increasing Life You need to stop thinking that there is a God who wants you to be poor. The intelligent substance, which is everywhere and in everything, lives in you too. It wants to grow and increase because every living thing wants to get bigger and better. Think of a seed planted in the ground. It grows and makes many more seeds. Life always tries to grow and become more. Intelligence works the same way. Each thought leads to another, and each fact learned leads to more learning. We always want to know, do, and be more. To do this, we need more things. We need to get rich to live more fully. Wanting to be rich is just desiring a bigger life. When you desire something, it's because there's a possibility in you trying to come out. Life wants to express itself fully through you. The one living substance wants to live more in you. It wants you to have all the things you need to express it. God wants you to be rich so he can express himself better through you. The universe wants you to have everything you desire. Nature supports your plans. Everything is for you. This is true, but you must want real life, not just pleasure. Real life is about doing everything you can without going overboard. Don't want to get rich to indulge in pleasures or to outshine others. These are only parts of life. Don't get rich to help others either. Helping others is good, but it's not the whole of life. You want to be rich to enjoy life, see beautiful things, learn, and help others. Forget the idea that God wants you to sacrifice yourself for others. God wants you to make the most of yourself for yourself and others. You can help others best by being your best self. You can only be your best self by getting rich. So, it's good to focus on getting wealth. But remember, the intelligent substance wants more life for everyone. It can't work against anyone because it lives in all. Stop thinking about competition. You don't have to take anything from anyone. Also, you don't need to make unfair deals or cheat. Plus, you don't have to look at other people's stuff with envy. You are a creator, not a competitor. When you get what you want, others will get more too. Some people get rich by competing, like Rockefeller and Carnegie. They helped organize industries, which benefited everyone in the long run. But their time is ending. Future riches will come from creating, not competing. Riches from competition don't last. They're here today and gone tomorrow. To get rich in a sure way, you must leave the competitive mindset. Know there's enough for everyone. There is plenty of gold in the earth, and more can be created if needed. Trust that the money you need will come. Don't look at what others have. Concentrate on the limitless riches in formless substance, knowing they will come to you. Don't worry that others will get the best things before you. You're creating what you want from formless substance which has no limits. Remember this, there is a thinking stuff from which everything is made. A thought in this stuff produces what is imagined by the thought. Focusing your thoughts on this formless substance will create what you think about. Chapter 6, How Riches Come to You When I say you don't have to make unfair deals, I don't mean you shouldn't make any deals at all. I mean you don't have to be dishonest or cheat people. Give everyone more than what you take from them. You might not give everyone more money than they give you, but you can give them more value. For example, the paper and ink in this book might not be worth the money you paid, but if the ideas help you make lots of money, you get more value from it. Imagine I have a famous painting worth thousands of dollars. If I trade it with an Eskimo for furs worth $500, I've cheated him because the painting isn't useful to him. But if I trade him a $50 gun for the furs, it's a good deal because it helps him hunt more furs and food. When you move from competition to creativity, check your business deals carefully. If you're selling something that doesn't help the buyer more than what they give you, you should stop. Don't cheat people in business. If you are in a company that does, leave it. Give everyone more use value than what you take in cash value. This way, you're helping the world with every deal. You must pay your employees less than you earn from their work. 
but you can organize your business to help them grow. Your business can be a ladder for them to climb to success. Creating wealth doesn't mean things will just appear out of thin air. If you want a sewing machine, don't expect it to appear. But if you imagine it clearly and believe it's coming, it will. Believe that the sewing machine is already yours. The supreme intelligence will bring it to you through people and events. It might even involve someone far away helping you get it. Remember, the thinking substance is everywhere and can influence everything. It has created all sewing machines and can make more. When you think and have faith, it will create what you want. You can have a sewing machine or anything else you desire to improve your life and others. Ask for what you want with confidence. Original Substance wants to express life through you and give you everything you need for an abundant life. Your faith becomes unbeatable when you understand that your desire for riches is the same as the infinite's desire for more expression. I once saw a boy trying to play piano but struggling. He felt the music inside him but couldn't play it. This music was the urge of original substance seeking expression through him. God wants to live, enjoy, and create through us. He wants us to have what we need to fulfill our potential. It could be playing music, appreciating beauty, speaking truths, or enjoying good food. The desire for riches is what God wants to express through you. So don't hesitate to ask for a lot. Your job is to focus and express these desires. Many people think poverty pleases God, but that's not true. Some assume there's not enough for everyone, so they feel bad asking for more. But wealth is available to everyone. I remember a poor student. He only asked for a new rug and a stove, and he got them. Then he realized he could ask for more. He imagined his perfect house and worked towards it. Now he owns it and is making it just as he pictured. With bigger faith, he's now aiming for even greater things. This will work for you too. Chapter 7, Being Thankful To get rich, you must first tell the universe what you want. You need to have a good relationship with this higher power to do this. This is very important, so let's discuss it and learn how to connect with God. The key to this connection is one word, gratitude. First, believe there is one intelligent power that gives you everything. Second, be thankful for what you get from this power. Many people stay poor because they are not grateful. When you get something good, you must say thanks to keep the connection strong. The closer we are to the source of wealth, the more we get. Being thankful brings us closer to God. When we focus on good things and thank God, more good things will come to us. Gratitude helps our mind stay in tune with the creative forces of the universe. It keeps us from thinking about competition and keeps us focused on abundance. Remember, there is a law of gratitude, which says that what we give out in thankfulness comes back to us. When we thank God, it brings us closer to Him. A strong, constant gratitude keeps good things coming to us. Even Jesus thanked God all the time. Gratitude is what keeps you connected to this power. You can become unhappy with what you have if you're ungrateful. If you focus on bad things, you will attract more bad things. But if you focus on the best things, you will attract the best. Our minds shape our lives by what we think about. A grateful mind focuses on the best and becomes the best. Gratitude also builds faith. The more thankful you are, the more you believe good things will come. To get rich, you must be thankful for what you have. Be grateful for everything, even the actions of rich people and politicians, because they help create opportunities for you. By being grateful, you connect with the good in everything, and the good will come to you. Chapter 8, Thinking in a Certain Way Return to Chapter 6 and read about the man who imagined his house. This will help you understand the first step to getting rich. Have a clear picture of what you want. You can't tell the universe what you want if you don't know yourself. Many fail because they have a vague idea of what they want to do, have, or become. It's not enough to want to be rich to do good things. Everyone wants that. Avoid wanting to travel, see things, and live more. 
Everyone wants that too. If you were sending a message to a friend, you wouldn't just send random letters or words. You would send a clear message that means something. Do the same when you tell the universe what you want. Getting rich by sending out unclear and vague wishes will not work. Think about your desires just like the man thought about his house. Picture exactly what you want and keep that picture in your mind, like a sailor always keeps the destination in mind. You don't need special exercises or times for prayer. You need to know what you want and want it enough that it stays in your thoughts. Spend your free time thinking about your picture. When you want something enough, it's easy to think about it. It's not worth following this book's instructions if you don't want to be rich. These methods are for people who want wealth enough to work for it. Your desire will be stronger, the clearer and more detailed your picture is. The stronger your desire, the easier it is to keep your mind on your picture. But just seeing the picture isn't enough. You need to believe that it's already yours and you need to take it. Live in your mind as if you already have what you want. Enjoy it mentally until it becomes real. Jesus said, Believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. See the things you want as if they are already yours. Use them in your imagination as you will when you have them. Hold on to this mental picture with faith and believe it is real. Remember to be thankful. Thank God for what you want as if you already have it. You don't need to pray every day for the things you want. God already knows. Impress a clear desire upon the universe with unshakable purpose and faith. The answer to your prayers depends on your faith while you work, not just while you pray. You can't impress God by only praying on special days and forgetting Him the rest of the week. Oral prayer helps you focus and strengthen your faith, but it's not what gets you what you want. You need to pray without ceasing, meaning always hold on to your vision and faith. When you have a clear vision, pray and believe you have received what you asked. Live as if you already have what you want. Think and speak about it as if it's already yours. Hold the faith that your imagination is becoming real and use your willpower to make it happen. Chapter 9, How to Use Your Will To get rich scientifically, you don't try to use your willpower on anything outside yourself. You have no right to control other people to get what you want. It's wrong to force people with your mind just like using physical power. Both are forms of control, and both are wrong. You shouldn't use willpower on another person, even if you think it's for their good. You don't need to force your will on anyone else. Trying to do so will only make things harder for you. You also don't need to force things to come to you. That would be like trying to make God do what you want, which is silly and disrespectful. You don't need to use your willpower to make the universe give you good things. The universe is already on your side and wants to help you. To get rich, you need to use your willpower on yourself. When you know what to think and do, use your will to make yourself imagine and do the right things. Use your will to keep yourself on the right path. Don't try to send your thoughts or willpower out into the world to change things or people. Keep your mind focused on your own goals. Use your mind to imagine what you want clearly. Use your willpower to keep your mind working in the right way. The stronger and more steady your faith and purpose, the faster you will get rich. You will send out only positive thoughts, which will bring good things to you. When you hold a clear picture of what you want with faith, the universe starts moving to bring it to you. Everything starts working towards your goals. People everywhere will be influenced to help you without even knowing it. But if you start having doubts, you will stop the good things from coming. Doubt will push things away from you. To succeed, you must believe. Jesus stressed the importance of belief, and now you know why. It's crucial to guard your thoughts and focus on positive things. Your beliefs are shaped by what you see and think about. Use your willpower to control what you pay attention to. If you want to be rich, don't study poverty. Thinking about poverty won't make you rich. Studying disease won't make you healthy, and studying sin won't make you righteous. Similarly, studying poverty won't make you rich. Avoid talking about poverty or thinking about it. Don't worry about its causes. Focus on the solution. 
neglect spending your time on charity that only keeps people in their misery. This doesn't mean you should be unkind or ignore people in need. Instead, help by showing them how to get rich. You can't hold a mental image of wealth if your mind is full of thoughts about poverty. Avoid reading or watching things that show misery and suffering. You can't help the poor by filling your mind with negative images. Instead, focus on positive images of wealth and success. You're not abandoning the poor by refusing to think about poverty. The best way to help is by becoming rich and inspiring others to do the same. Poverty can be banished by teaching people to get rich through creation, not competition. When people get rich by creation, they open doors for others to follow. Use your willpower to keep your mind off poverty and focus on your vision of what you want. Chapter 10, More About Using Your Will To keep a clear picture of wealth in your mind, you can't think about things that oppose it. Don't talk or think about past money troubles or the poverty of your parents. This will make you feel poor again and stop wealth from coming your way. Like Jesus said, let the dead bury their dead. Forget about poverty completely. You believe in a certain way of thinking about the universe, so neglect ideas that go against it. Don't read books that say the world is ending or writings by people who are always negative. The world isn't getting worse, it's getting better. Bad things might be happening now, but they are slowly going away. Focusing on them won't help, instead, focus on improving things. Stop thinking about the bad conditions in some places. This will only hurt your chances of getting rich. Think about how the world is becoming richer, not poorer. You can help by becoming rich creatively, not by competing with others. Focus only on wealth and ignore poverty. When you talk about poor people, talk about them as becoming rich. This will inspire them and others to look for ways to improve. This doesn't mean you should be greedy or mean. Becoming rich correctly is a noble goal because it includes everything good. In a competitive world, getting rich can be selfish, but in a creative world, it's different. Greatness, service, and happiness come from getting rich creatively. Being healthy often depends on having money because it allows you to live well and enjoy yourself. Moral and spiritual greatness is easier when you're not struggling to survive. Creative wealth frees you from competition's bad effects. Domestic happiness is best with refinement and high thinking, which come from wealth gained through creativity, not competition. To aim for something great, focus on becoming rich. Keep your mind on your vision of wealth. Learn to see the truth in all things. Understand that beneath all bad conditions, life is moving towards happiness. There is no real poverty, only wealth. Some people stay poor because they don't know about the wealth available to them. You can teach them by showing them the way through your success. Other lazy people can't find the way out. You can inspire them by showing the happiness that comes from wealth. Too many theories confuse some people. Show them the right way by your example. Actions speak louder than words. The best thing you can do for the world is to be your best self. You serve others and God best by becoming rich creatively. This book details the principles of getting rich. You don't need to read other books on the subject right now. Focus on this method. Study this book every day and memorize it. Avoid other theories until you are sure you have succeeded. Stay optimistic and read only positive news. Avoid studies like the occult or spiritualism. Let the dead do their work. Focus on your own life and getting rich. Mixing in the occult will confuse you and ruin your hopes. Remember, there is a thinking substance from which all things are made. Your thoughts can create things in this substance. To do this, you must think creatively, not competitively. Form a clear picture of what you want and keep this picture with purpose and faith. Now, let's see how to live and act in this certain way. Chapter 11, Acting in a Certain Way Thinking in a certain way can help you get rich. However, don't visualize and do nothing. Many people fail because they don't connect their thoughts with actions. You can't just create with thoughts and not work. 
you must act to help your thoughts come true. Thinking about gold in the mountains won't make it mine itself and roll into your pocket. But your thoughts can make things happen so others mine the gold, and it comes to you if you're ready to receive it. Your thoughts make everything work to bring you what you want. But act to get it properly. You can't take it as a gift or steal it. Give more value to others than the money you receive from them. To use thought correctly, you need a clear mental image of what you want, hold on to your purpose, and believe with gratitude that you will get it. Don't try to send your thoughts out in a mysterious way to do things for you. This weakens your power. Your thoughts, faith, and purpose make the creative forces work for you. But you don't control the process. Just keep your vision and faith strong. Act in a certain way to get what you want when it comes. When things reach you, they will be with other people who want something in return. It takes effort to fill your wallet with money. This is the key point, thought and action must work together. Many people don't receive what they want because they fail to set things in motion with their desires. By thinking, you attract what you want. By acting, you receive it. Act now. You can't act in the past or the future, only now. Start acting now. Put your whole mind into what you're doing now. Don't just think about what you want and wait for it. Act now. There's only now. Your actions now should be in your current job or situation. You can't act in the past or future, only in the present. Don't worry about yesterday's work or try to do tomorrow's work now. Just do today's work well. Don't try to influence people or things far away. Change your environment by acting now. Hold the vision of a better situation but work hard where you are now. Don't waste time daydreaming. Focus on your vision and act now. Don't look for strange new things to do. Your actions now might be the same as before, but do them in a certain way to get rich. Don't wait if you think you're in the wrong job, act now until you're in the right one. Act now in your current job, hold the vision of being in the right job with faith and purpose. Use your current job to get to a better one. If you want a new job, don't just think about it. Hold the vision of your desired job while working with faith in your current job. Your vision and faith will set things in motion to bring the new job to you. Your actions will move you toward it. In summary, there is a thinking substance that makes everything in the universe. A thought in this substance creates what the thought pictures. You can create things by thinking and impressing your thoughts on this substance. To do this, you must move from competitive to creative thinking. Form a clear picture of what you want, hold it with purpose and faith, and block out anything that shakes your faith. Act now on the people and things in your current environment to receive what you want. Chapter 12, Efficient Action You need to use your thoughts as we discussed and start doing everything you can right where you are. You can only move forward by doing more than your current place needs. If you neglect your work, you're not bigger than your place. The world moves forward because people do more than just their job. If everyone did less, everything would go backward. We can make things hard for society and slow everyone down if we don't do our work. In nature, animals evolve when they have more life than they need, making new species. The same rule works for you. To get rich, you must do more than your current place needs. Each day can be a success or a failure. Successful days help you get what you want. Too many failures will keep you from getting rich. If there's something you can do today and you don't do it, it could cause problems. You never know how important a small act can be. Doing a simple thing might open up big opportunities. Do everything you can each day, but don't overwork or try to do tomorrow's work today. It's not about how many things you do, but how well you do them. Each action can be a success or a failure. Inefficient acts will cause you to fail. Doing many things poorly won't help you. Every efficient act is a success. If you do many efficient acts, you will succeed. Failure happens when you do too many things poorly and too few things well. Make each act a success to get rich. This turns getting rich into a science, like math. 
you can make each act successful because all power is working with you. All power can't fail. To make each act efficient, put all your power into it. Hold your vision while doing each act, and put your whole faith and purpose into it. Failure comes when you separate thinking from action. They visualize at one time and act at another, making their actions inefficient. If all power is in every act, each act will succeed. Success leads to more success, making your progress faster. Remember, successful action builds on itself. When you start moving toward a better life, more things help you. Do all you can each day and do each act efficiently. Hold your vision while you work, even if you don't constantly see all the details. In your free time, imagine the details of your vision until it's fixed in your memory. Spend your spare time imagining your vision. The clearer the picture in your mind, the more it will inspire your best efforts. Repeat our key points, there is a thinking substance that makes everything. A thought in this substance creates what the thought pictures. Man can create things by impressing his thoughts on the formless substance. To do this, you must switch from a competitive mind to a creative mind. Form a clear mental picture of what you want, and do everything you can each day efficiently. Chapter 13, Getting into the Right Business To succeed in any job, you need the right skills for that job. To be a music teacher you need an ear for music. Conversely, to be a great mechanic you need mechanical skills. Even with the right skills, you might not get rich. There are many poor talented musicians and skilled carpenters. Your skills are like tools. Good tools are important, but you must know how to use them properly. One person might build a beautiful piece of furniture with good tools, while another might mess it up with the same tools. Your mind has different skills, or tools, that help you succeed. To be your best, get into a career that uses your strongest skills. But you're not stuck with just the skills you were born with. You can develop new talents. It might be easier to succeed in a job you're already good at, but you can learn to be good at anything. You'll be happiest doing what you love. If you are passionate about something, it means you have the potential to do it well. Desire is a sign of hidden talent. Wanting to play music means you have the potential to be a musician. Wanting to invent things means you have mechanical talent. If you strongly want to do something, you have the power to do it. It's best to choose a job that fits your talents. However, follow your passions too. You don't have to do what you dislike forever. If you're in a job you don't like, know it's a step toward doing what you love. If you want to change jobs, don't rush. Grow into the new job gradually. Don't worry if it takes time. There's plenty of opportunity. When unsure, wait and be thankful for what you have. This will help you make the right decisions. Mistakes happen when you rush or act out of fear. Stay calm, have faith, and be grateful. Opportunities will come, and you'll need to be steady and focused. Do your best every day without rushing or worrying. Go fast, yet take the time you need. Hurrying turns you into a competitor, not a creator. If you find yourself hurrying, stop, think about what you want, and be thankful you're getting it. Gratitude will strengthen your faith and purpose. Chapter 14, The Impression of Growth Whether you change jobs or not, for now, you need to focus on doing your current job well. You can get into the job you want by using your current job as a stepping stone. Do your best in your daily work. When dealing with people, either in person or by letter, make them feel like they are gaining something. Everyone wants to grow and improve. It's natural for people to want more food, clothes, better homes, and more happiness. If life stops growing, it starts to die. People know this and always want more. Jesus discussed this in the parable of the talents, those who increase get more, and those who don't grow lose even what they have. Wanting more wealth is good. It's just wanting a better life. Everyone is drawn to those who can help them have a better life. By following the steps in this book, you progress and help others. You are like a source of growth for everyone around you. 
Believe this, and make sure everyone you meet can feel it too. Even if you sell a small piece of candy to a child, make them feel like they are getting something more. Show growth in everything you do, so people see you as someone who helps them grow too. You can do this by having strong faith that you are growing and letting that faith guide everything you do. Feel like you are getting richer and helping others get richer too. Don't brag about your success. True faith is quiet and strong. People who brag are usually unsure and scared. Just believe in your growth, and let it show in everything you do. Others will feel this growth and will want to be around you. Everyone should feel they are getting more from you than they give you. Be proud of doing this. Then, people will want to do business with you. Your business will grow, and you will get many new opportunities. But always remember what you want and have faith in getting it. Be careful not to seek power over others. Wanting to control others has caused many problems throughout history. Kings and rulers have fought wars for power, not for helping others. Today, many people in business still seek power over others, causing harm. Jesus warned against the desire to control others, urging instead to seek the common good. Avoid the temptation to show off or seek authority over others. The creative mind does not compete. To succeed, you don't need to rule over others. When you try to compete for high positions, you lose control over your own life and success. Stay away from a competitive mindset. Instead, follow the principle of wanting good things for everyone. Chapter 15, The Advancing Person What I said in the last chapter applies to everyone, whether you have a professional job or work for wages. No matter what your job is, doctor, teacher, or preacher, if you can help others feel like they're getting more out of life, they will come to you, and you will become successful. A doctor who sees himself as a great healer and works with faith and purpose becomes very successful and has many patients. Anyone in medicine has a great chance to use these ideas. No matter what type of doctor they are, if they follow the rules of faith, purpose, and gratitude, they will help many people. In religion, people want a preacher who can teach them how to have a better life. A preacher who understands the science of getting rich and being well and loved will always have a large congregation. The world needs preachers who show how to live a life that is rich, healthy, and happy. When such preachers come, many people will follow them. Teachers who inspire students with the belief in a better life will always have a job. Teachers who believe in and live by these principles will naturally pass them on to their students. This applies to lawyers, dentists, real estate agents, insurance agents, and everyone else. Following the steps in this book will always work. Anyone who follows these instructions carefully will become rich. The law of growth is as sure as gravity, getting rich is a science. Wage earners will also find this to be true. Don't feel like you can't get rich because your job has low wages or no room for growth. Visualize what you want, and work with faith and purpose. Do all your work well every day, and put the power of success and the goal of getting rich into everything you do. Don't just try to impress your boss in hopes of getting promoted. Your boss might prefer you stay where you are if you do your job well. You must be more than just good at your job to move ahead. The person who will advance is the one who is too talented for their current job and knows they can be more. They visualize what they want to be and are determined to become it. Don't just do your job well to please your boss. Do it to improve yourself. Keep faith and purpose in your mind constantly so that everyone around you feels your sense of growth. If you can't advance in your current job, people will draw themselves to you and you will soon find a new opportunity. There is a power that will always present opportunities to the advancing person. God must help you if you act in a certain way because helping you helps him too. Nothing in your circumstances can keep you down. If you can't get rich in one job, you will with another one. When you start acting in a certain way, you find better opportunities. Even big companies can't hold you back if you practice the science of getting rich. Companies can only keep people in bad conditions if they don't know about or don't practice these principles. Start thinking and acting this way. 
then your faith and purpose will help you spot new opportunities. Opportunities will come quickly because the supreme power working in everything will bring them to you. Don't wait for the perfect opportunity to be everything you want. When you see a chance to be more than you are now, seize it. It will lead to even greater opportunities. There are always opportunities for the person who is living an advancing life. The universe is set up so that everything will work for your good if you think and act in a certain way. So, wage earners should study this book carefully and confidently follow its instructions, it will work. Chapter 16, Some Warnings and Final Thoughts Many people won't believe there's a science to getting rich. They think there is limited wealth and changes are needed before everyone can be well off. But this isn't true. Governments keep people poor, but that's because people don't think and act in a certain way. If everyone starts following the advice in this book, no government or system can stop them, everything will change to fit the new way. If people believe they can get rich and work towards it with a clear goal, nothing can keep them poor. Anyone can start using the certain way anywhere and anytime, and they will become rich. When many people do this, they will change the system to help others do the same. When people get rich by competing, it makes things worse for others. But when they get rich by creating, it helps everyone. To help many people, we need lots of them to follow the method in this book and become rich. They will inspire others to want a better life and believe they can achieve it. Remember that neither the government or the business system can stop you from getting rich. When you think creatively, you rise above these things. Always keep your thoughts on creating and never believe that wealth is limited. If you slip back into old thinking, correct yourself right away. If you think competitively, you lose the help of the universal mind. Don't worry about future problems. Focus on doing today's work well. You can handle setbacks as they come. Don't stress about obstacles in your business unless they need your attention today. Often, what looks like a big problem now will disappear or become manageable as you get closer to it. No situation can stop someone from following the scientific steps to get rich. If you follow the rules, you will succeed just like 2 plus 2 always equals 4. Don't waste time worrying about disasters or bad times. Deal with problems only when they happen, and you'll find solutions. Be careful with your words. Never speak negatively about yourself or your situation. Never admit the possibility of failure or talk as if failure is an option. Don't complain about hard times or bad business conditions. These may affect those who compete, but not you. You can create what you want and live without fear. When others struggle, you will find your best chances. Train yourself to see the world as always improving and view seeming problems as things that are still growing. Always talk about progress, to do otherwise is to lose your faith. Never let yourself feel disappointed. If you don't get something when you expect it, that's not a failure. Keep your faith, and you'll find that what seemed like failure is a success. For example, a man wanted a business deal that seemed great. He worked hard, but the deal strangely fell through. He thanked God and kept going. Soon, a much better opportunity came and he realized the first deal would have been a mistake. This is how every apparent failure will turn out if you keep your faith, purpose, and gratitude, and do your best every day. If you fail, it's because you didn't ask for enough. Keep going, and you'll get something bigger than you wanted. Remember, you won't fail because you lack talent. If you follow these steps, you'll develop the skills you need. This book doesn't cover how to develop talent, but it's as simple as getting rich. Don't worry that you might fail because you lack ability. Keep going, and you'll gain the ability you need. The same power that helped Lincoln lead will help you too. Study this book. Make it your guide until you understand all its ideas. While learning this faith, avoid activities and places that go against these ideas. Don't read negative or conflicting writings or argue about them. Spend your free time visualizing your goals, feeling grateful, and reading this book. It has all you need to know about getting rich. You'll find a summary of the main ideas in the next chapter. Chapter 17, 
Summary of the Science of Getting Rich There is a thinking stuff from which everything is made. This stuff is everywhere in the universe. When you think of something in this stuff, it creates that thing. People can think of things, and by putting their thoughts into this thinking stuff, they can make those things happen. To do this, you must stop thinking competitively and start thinking creatively. The formless intelligence, or the thinking stuff, is always creative, not competitive. You can connect with the formless intelligence by feeling grateful for the good things it gives you. Gratitude makes your mind one with the thinking stuff, so your thoughts are accepted by it. You can stay creative by being deeply and continuously grateful. You need to make a clear and specific mental picture of what you want to have, do, or become. Keep this picture in your mind and be thankful that your wishes are fulfilled. Spend your free time thinking about your vision and thanking God it's coming true. It's crucial to frequently think about your mental image with strong faith and deep gratitude. This sends your thoughts to the formless, starting the creative process. The creative power works through natural growth and the usual ways of business and society. Have strong faith as you follow these steps. Your wishes will come true through normal trade and commerce. It would help if you stayed busy to get what you want when it comes. Do more than is expected in your current situation. Keep in mind your goal to get rich by realizing your mental image. Every day, do all you can do that day, and do each task well. Give more value to others than what you get in cash, so every deal makes life better. Keep the thought of progress in your mind, so others feel this increase when interacting with you. People who follow these steps will get rich. The wealth they gain will match how clear their vision is, how strong their purpose is, how steady their faith is, and how deep their gratitude is.